To a lot of people, Seattle means coffee, rock and roll, and computers. But there's something else Seattle does really well. People know me around here as Pete Knudsen. I've been a commercial fisherman since 1972. Pete runs a small fishing business with his wife and two sons. The fishing industry in Puget Sound is a family affair. Fathers and mothers bring kids into it, and businesses span generations. I took it for granted for a long time and didn't realize that most people don't grow up in a family business. <laughs> so uh, having dad gone every summer, I mean, is just how I grew up. Fishermen like Pete pull in almost half of America's commercial fish harvest every year. Of, uh, this is sockeye salmon here, which is really premium stuff. I mean, just Fisherman's Terminal right here, jobs come out of the, I mean, jobs, I would, I would say livelihoods. It's different from a job. It's a livelihood. It's like long-term, it's sustainable. But lately, Pete has seen the sustainability of his work threatened. I'm convinced that climate change is happening. The most convincing evidence is changes in ocean pH. That's beyond dispute, and that's happening. As more carbon enters the atmosphere, it is increasingly absorbed into the oceans. Higher carbon levels make the water more acidic. The carbon dioxide dissolves, forming carbonic acid, which prevents shell and skeleton growth in marine life. Ocean acidification endangers small organisms like sea butterflies, the main source of food for Pacific Northwest salmon. It disrupts the whole marine food web, and we're seeing that happening now here in Puget Sound. We're having failures with oyster crops. Um, we're worried that it's going to affect salmon runs ultimately because of the uh, disruption of, of the feed. Now, the state of Washington has become a battleground in the fight against climate change. The coal industry is pushing to build export terminals in Washington that would send almost 100 million tons of coal to China each year. Pete argues more coal means more carbon emissions. I'm making a living from the ocean. This fight is really existential for us. So anyone who claims that this massive coal project is about jobs had better learn how to subtract. We're not going to back off this thing. What I say is that fishermen have been environmentalists since before the term was invented. 